The air was crisp. A gentle breeze rustled through the trees, sending colorful leaves spiraling down like confetti. Jack-o'-lanterns with crooked grins lit up porches. Spiders and cobwebs, thankfully fake, adorned every corner. It was Halloween night and the suburban neighborhood was alive with ghouls, goblins and superheroes. Kids in imaginative costumes darted from house to house. Their laughter and excited chatter filled the air as they collected their sugary loot. Among them were three friends, their costumes a stark contrast to the younger, more innocent disguises. There was Sarah, her face pale with makeup, fangs glinting in the moonlight. Her long black cape flowed behind her as she walked, the perfect image of a vampire. Beside her was Nick, his face green and decaying, clothes torn and splattered with fake blood. He lumbered along, groaning, playing the part of a zombie to perfection. Completing their trio was Emily, her witch's hat slightly askew, a mischievous twinkle in her eye. This is getting old, you guys. Trick-or-treating is for kids. We need something more exciting. Like what? Brainstorm, witchy one. Sarah, always the adventurous one, grinned, her fangs catching the light. I heard there's an old abandoned house on Hollow Lane. They say it's haunted. Hollow Lane was exactly as its name suggested. Hollow, empty and shrouded in an unsettling silence. The street seemed to stretch endlessly, with the fog wrapping around it like a ghostly shroud. Every step echoed in the stillness, amplifying the eerie atmosphere that clung to the air. The houses here were old, their paint peeling, windows dark and lifeless. Each house seemed to tell a story of its own, tales of families long gone and memories that had faded into the shadows. The once vibrant colors of the homes had dulled, leaving behind a monochrome palette of decay and neglect. At the end of the lane stood the house Sarah had spoken of, a Victorian mansion, its once grand facade now crumbling with age. The mansion, with its intricate woodwork and towering spires, had an air of forgotten grandeur. It was as if time had stopped, leaving the house to slowly wither away, a relic of a bygone era. This was the Vanderbilt mansion, abandoned for decades, its history shrouded in whispers and rumors. Stories of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena had turned it into a local legend. Some said the mansion was cursed. Others believed it was haunted by the spirits of its former inhabitants. The truth, however, remained a mystery. As they approached the house, a shiver ran down Emily's spine. The closer they got, the more palpable the sense of dread became. It was as if the mansion itself was alive, watching them with unseen eyes. Emily could feel her heart pounding in her chest, each beat echoing the fear that gripped her. The air grew colder, the festive cheer of the neighborhood fading away, replaced by an oppressive silence. The transition was stark, as if they had crossed an invisible threshold into another world. The once familiar sounds of laughter and music were now replaced by the haunting whispers of the wind. The dilapidated mansion loomed over them, its shadow stretching towards them like a grasping hand. The structure seemed to breathe, its decaying walls creaking and groaning in the night. The mansion's windows, dark and hollow, stared back at them like empty eyes, adding to the sense of foreboding that enveloped them. The old iron gate creaked as they pushed it open, the sound like a death rattle in the stillness of the night. The overgrown path leading to the front door was littered with dead leaves, crunching ominously under their feet. Each step seemed to echo in the silence, amplifying their fear. As they neared the porch, a sudden gust of wind slammed the front door shut. The sound echoed through the empty street, making them jump. Even Nick, hidden behind his zombie makeup, looked unnerved. The front door groaned as if protesting after years of silence as they slowly pushed it open. The smell hit them first, a musty, damp odor of decay and neglect. Cobwebs, thick and dusty, hung from every corner. The air inside was heavy, thick with an unseen presence. This is creepy, even for me. They stepped inside, their eyes slowly adjusting to the gloom. The house was dark, the only light filtering in through the grimy windows, casting long, eerie shadows. The silence was deafening, broken only by the sound of their own breathing and the pounding of their hearts. The hallway was a tunnel of shadows, 
the faded grandeur of the house doing little to dispel the eerie atmosphere. A grand staircase covered in dust and cobwebs dominated the far end of the hall. Portraits of stern-faced strangers lined the walls, their eyes seeming to follow the teenagers as they moved. Did you hear that? Emily whispered, her hand clutching Sarah's arm. A low moan seemed to echo through the hall, followed by the soft rustling of fabric. They froze, listening intently, their breath caught in their throats. The sound came again, closer this time, sending chills down their spines. They entered a room at the end of the hallway. The door creaked open, revealing a space shrouded in darkness and mystery. The group hesitated for a moment, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. The air grew noticeably colder, sending a shiver down their spines. It was as if the room itself was alive, breathing out a chilling mist that wrapped around them like icy fingers. The room was a grand old library, with shelves lining the walls, stacked with dusty, leather-bound books. Each book seemed to hold secrets of the past, their spines cracked and worn from years of neglect. The scent of aged paper and leather filled the air, adding to the room's haunting atmosphere. In the centre of the room was a large, ornate mirror, its surface tarnished with age. The intricate frame was adorned with carvings of mythical creatures, their eyes seeming to follow the group as they moved. The mirror's glass was clouded, reflecting a distorted version of reality. As Sara stepped closer to the mirror, she noticed a figure reflected behind her. Her heart raced as she tried to make out the details in the dim light. The figure seemed to flicker like a candle flame in the wind. A girl dressed in a long white gown, her face pale and drawn. Her eyes were hollow as if they had seen too much, and her hair hung in limp strands around her face. The gown looked old-fashioned, like something from a bygone era. Her eyes were wide with terror, her mouth open in a silent scream. It was a scream that seemed to echo through the ages, a cry for help that had never been answered. The fear in her eyes was palpable, sending a wave of dread through Sarah. Sarah spun around, but there was no one there. The room was empty, save for the group and the oppressive silence. She turned back to the mirror, but the figure was gone. Had it been a trick of the light or something more sinister? The question lingered in the air unanswered as the group stood in the haunted library, the face in the mirror a haunting memory. A blood-curdling scream echoed through the house. Emily stood frozen, her eyes wide with terror, staring at the top of the stairs. Two white, translucent hands gripped the railing, their skeletal fingers tapping a haunting rhythm. Then, just as quickly as it had appeared, the ghostly apparition vanished panic surged through them. They didn't need any more convincing. Turning, they fled back through the house, their fear propelling them forward. They didn't stop running until they were out of the house, back on the street, the distant sounds of Halloween festivities filtering back into their consciousness. They stood there for a moment, catching their breath, their chests heaving. The night was cold and the air was thick with an eerie silence that seemed to press down on them. Each breath they took felt like a struggle, as if the very atmosphere was trying to suffocate them. They exchanged glances, their eyes wide with a mixture of fear and disbelief. The house loomed behind them, dark and silent, as if nothing had happened. But they knew. They could still feel the oppressive presence of the mansion, its dark windows like eyes watching their every move. The silence was deafening, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves in the wind. It was as if the house itself was holding its breath waiting for something, they'd seen it with their own eyes. The apparition, the ghostly figure that had appeared out of nowhere had left an indelible mark on their minds. It wasn't just a trick of the light or a figment of their imagination, it was real, and it had looked right at them, its eyes filled with the sorrow that seemed to reach out and touch their very souls. The Vanderbilt Mansion was not just a story, it was haunted. The tales they had heard growing up, the whispers of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena were all true. The mansion had a history, a dark past filled with tragedy and loss. And now they were a part of that history, their encounter adding another chapter to the legend of the haunted house. As they walked away, the laughter and music of Halloween faded into the distance. The festive atmosphere that had once seemed so inviting now felt like a cruel joke, a stark contrast to the terror they had just experienced. 
The decorations, the costumes, the cheerful faces of party goers, all of it seemed so distant, so irrelevant in the face of what they had seen. They didn't speak, but the memory of that night, the chilling cold, the ghostly whispers, and the face in the mirror stayed with them. A chilling reminder of the secrets that lurked in the shadows of the old house on Hollow Lane. Every step they took away from the mansion felt like a struggle, as if the house was trying to pull them back, to keep them within its grasp. And the face in the mirror, that ghastly visage that had appeared so suddenly, was etched into their minds. It was a face they would never forget, a face that seemed to follow them even as they walked away. The eyes, hollow and filled with despair, seemed to bore into their very souls, leaving them with a sense of unease that they couldn't shake off stayed with them a chilling reminder of the secrets that lurked in the shadows of the old house on Hollow Lane. The house, with its dark history and ghostly inhabitants, had left a mark on them that would never fade. They knew that no matter how far they walked, no matter how much time passed, the memory of that night would always be with them, a lingering fear that would haunt them for the rest of their lives.